scientist, Evelyn from the California Science Center, here to help you feel a little less stuck at home. This week, we are exploring our World of Life gallery, and in it, you can find all sorts of great information, and one of the things we like to talk about is oxygen transport. A lot of animals need oxygen to stay alive, and yesterday, we had you do some jumpy jacks to get some oxygen moving through your body. But some animals move oxygen differently and take it in differently. So we're going to go check out some friends, and they're going to tell us how other animals move oxygen around. Let's go! Hi, my name is Marla, and I'm an aquarist here. I'm here with our axolotl. Do you want to come take a look? So axolotls breathe in a variety of ways. A couple of the ways are he has gills around his head that he can pulsate for water movement. The second way is most amphibians can breathe through their skin. So he's able to transport oxygen across the surface of his skin. Axolotls also have lungs. So they can go to the surface of the water and they can gulp air and circulate oxygen throughout their body and their lungs as well. My favorite fact about axolotls is that they are endemic to Mexico, which means that they can only be found there. And they are specifically found in two separate lakes in Mexico. Hi, I'm Alex. I'm the keeper here. Um, that's really cool, Marla. And we're going to talk about how a roach breathes. So a roach has spiracles located along the sides of its body. Spiracles, that's kind of a complicated word. What that basically is, is breathing holes. So these breathing holes lead through tubes that go throughout the roach's body, and through these tubes, that's how oxygen is distributed. So another interesting fact about the Madagascar hissing roaches is they have specialized spiracles. What the Madagascar hissing roaches can do is force air out of these spiracles, producing a hissing noise. This hissing noise can alert the colony to a predator, and the males can also use this during courtship. Um, and you guys can try this at home by pushing air through a straw to create vibrations. All right, so one final fact about these guys, as Madagascar hissing roaches are endemic to Madagascar. All right, scientists, thank you so much. I'm hoping you're feeling a little less stuck at home. Be sure to visit our website Monday through Friday at 10 a.m. for more stuck-at-home science activities.